Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number five in our series, Getting Started with Rails 7. So in our previous videos, we've gone through, created our application, we've created the articles um, controller with just an index resource right now uh, and just a um, just the index action on it in our routes. Here we can see our root path is articles index and we just have get articles to articles index. In our previous video we, videos, we created the article model, which right now doesn't have much going on. It's got a migration with a, um, a title string attribute, a text body attribute, timestamps and a primary key. We did the migrations on that work through the uh, the create, read, update, delete options using the Rails console. And in this video, we're going to start actually implementing those in our web application. So you, you can't just rely on, in a real website, somebody going into your console and uh, doing your database manipulations for you in order to have a website that delivers value, it needs to interact. So we're going to um, start with these interactions now. So we'll have um, read, update, delete, create, um, and we'll, we'll go in the order that the, the Rails guide goes with here. So uh, we'll pick up and start going. The uh, first thing we're going to do is add a uh, get articles ID to article show to our route. We'll put that under our articles index item. If you're um, wondering about, isn't this a bit tedious? The answer is yes, we'll get to that. So um, later on in the, um, in the guide, we consolidate this into a, a resource where we can just infer using Rails convention over configuration what all of these paths and verbs are. So we've got uh, get articles, which will give us a, a list of the articles we've got. And now we're putting in uh, get articles ID to our articles show route. And if we go and try to do this now, it will fail. So we've got our blog up and running. Even I'll restart the the server and we'll do this. So now I'm going to go articles one and we can see that we've got an unknown action. The show action can't be found on the articles controller. So earlier on when we did index, it just kind of uh, inferred the index action because we had uh, generated the index. There was an index uh, .html .erb, uh, but you can see here that in most cases, it, um, if you don't have um, that method defined in your controller, then you're not going to get any. Um, you're going to get an error message. Uh, before we go in and make our change to the controller, we're going to make our uh, a change to our test to account for this show action. So we will open up our articles controller test. So right now we've got should get index. We'll, I'll pause and I'll write the code for should get, um, should show article. All right, so I've got my test pasted in here. So we now we've got a should get show. And in this case, we need a particular article to, uh, to show. So we're going to reference our fixtures. So if we go to our fixtures here, 
articles.yaml, we can reference these by name. So we can see here our article is articles nerd. So that will get the top fixture we had in that file. Uh, we're doing a get um, request to the article URL. So you can see above we had articles plural URL. This is article URL and it takes a parameter of the article. When we go back to our route, we can see here that there is a uh, a parameter in that route. So the, the parameter that we're looking for is ID. Uh, we go back to our, um, and then the guide talks about this if you want to read about it. So the um, that, our, that ID there becomes available as params ID in our controller. So now, back to our articles controller test and then uh, we're again asserting that we've got a successful response and then reading through a little bit further in the guide our view our simple view for right now is just an h1 with a title paragraph with a body so we've got assert statements that um, that line up with that so that's uh, what we should have as our failing test. And um, we'll work through the different failures as we um, develop this. So kind of each time we um, make it in addition from the guide, we'll get a, a new error or failure until our, uh, our test passes. So I will go in run our tests we can see we have an error in our test that has a very long body here So we've got um, undefined method article URL because well that shouldn't be undefined. Let me see what we've got in our Rails routes. So so we've got articles show and yeah it doesn't have a a method there so we'll we'll keep that failing for now as we um, as we work through this, I, I think that might be the uh, the need for the resource here. So we might be able to get it to work with Let's see if that changes our route at all. All right, so undumpable exception. We've made it to the point, so we, we, we've made progress. The action show can could not be found in the articles controller. So what do we do now? We will create the action show in the articles controller. So 
This might graduate from an error to a failure. We'll see. Still an error. Missing exact template. So if we go and look at our error, you can see no template for interactive requests. So we've um, we've continued on in our uh, pursuit of getting better errors. And if we look at our um, Uh, our guide. So the, the thing that we haven't done yet is um, noted the uh, the article existing there. So I'm going to create an empty show.html.erb for now just so that we can graduate to the next error in our test. So views articles. So the existence of that article, even though it's em of that view, even though it's empty, should get us a new error message. And we can see now we no longer have an error, we have a failure. So it made it through, we had a successful response, um, wanted at least one element matching H1, found zero. So we will now uh, take a look at how that affects our so you can see here we've got that empty template is being displayed so let's go back into our articles controller so uh, right now even if we had that h1 in place it wouldn't allow us to pass the test because we're not assigning the article instance variable sure that I matched article equals article dot find params ID so that really because we didn't put anything yet in the uh, in the view we're still going to get the same failure here and now we will go in and so the um, explaining here in the guide, the show arc action calls article.find in order to um, define the article with the uh, parameters and the ID. If we did this to an article that didn't exist, so we can see that it's it's failing there because it's not we don't have an article with an ID of 45. So that would give us a, a 404 not found um, error. So let's go back to one here and take a look at the template content. So we're going to now go into this show.html.erb file and we're going to populate it with the article's title and the article's body. So we've got the H1 tags, the opening um, ERB, the instance variable articles. So that's um, as noted with articles plural, uh, article singular here, that instance variable now becomes available to the view uh, so that we can make use of it. So if I go and save this now and we rerun our test, We made it all the way down to the, the text body there. So, uh, and that, that's a problem with my, my YAML in my fixture. I'll go and um, fix that in a moment. But if we go and look in our actual application, you can see now we've got 
hello rails taxation is theft and then if we go and to our second article it'll retrieve and display the correct uh, article there so we've made it through to this point and I'm going to um, try to fix my fixture to um, to get the uh, article to uh, display in, in uh, such a way. I think what I need to do is add a space and a backslash to each of these lines uh, in order to get it to work. So I'll pause and do that. I think the actual fix here is to use the uh, the right angle bracket instead of the, the pipe character for these. I will try my test again. We're still failing. Let me pause and review this. All right, those strings look very similar to me. Let me go into console here. I'm going to just use the article.take method to get an item there. So we've got a new line character at the end of this. wonder if that's the cause. So I'll try running the test again. Let's see if I also fail if I try Y here. Still failing. So one more thing from doing a little bit of reading I'm going to try is using the angle bracket minus here to see if that solves our issue. So now we've got our tests are passing go back and change this to nerd again it should it also passes so we've got that uh, working here I'm going to preemptively here uh, go in and do a little bit of refactoring so you can see this uh, setting of the uh, the instance variable article uh, is something that is going to wind up being used by other routes within this article's controller. So in a controller test, you can do a def setup. And before you, the test begins, you can set instance variables for that test. And now our test still passes, but that uh, setting of that instance variable will be available to our other uh, methods in the uh, in the controller. We have one more item left to do on get here, and that is to uh, add a uh, a link to the um, the article's index page. So we can, you can see here because um, the, uh, the route there, um, there wasn't the uh, as article here in this version. The, um, the article version here is you're, you're actually putting in a, uh, 
a link to articles with the article ID. So I'll I'll change the the test to um, temporarily um, to match this. Go into our index.html.erb. HTML and then we will go back to our articles controller test and temporarily In this case, we're going to use the Rails string interpolation instance variable article. That should still work. It does. And we can go back temporarily and take away this as from the article. And it should now still work. And we can see that it does. So the um, getting ahead of ourselves a little bit in terms of the uh, the article path article URL there. So we'll get back to where we should have been at the end of this section here. If we go now and look at our articles. section here so we've got the ability now we're linking to the correct article in each of these um, in each of these article sections and yeah so now before I think we'll um, get this far, oh, I'm I'm duplicating the title, so let me go back, and I'm probably no, it's still because we're only counting the number of list items. So we've got uh, redundant code here now in index dot html dot erb. So. This should replace this value. There we go. Now we've got our articles doing what they're supposed to do. Our tests are succeeding and I will temporarily this um, get article URL from here and we'll commit what we've got and then we'll pick up the next um, the next video with setting up the uh, the resource route and uh, continuing forward so if we look at our get status the only new item we have is uh, the show.html.erb uh, we can see we've added the show view to the um, articles controller. We've uh, modified our uh, our article list to include links to each article. We added our um, article articles dot id to um, articles. Um, to, to route to article show. We added our um, setup method to our integration test. We added 
the um, the show test uh, temporarily, kind of using the uh, slightly clumsy um, version of getting that URL, and then we fixed the um, the YAML so that our uh, tests about the body of our articles pass. So that all works. We can add our items, commit here, pause while I write the message. So I've got my commit message. Push to the remote. what we've got and we'll pick up the next episode with the next section want to create your own ruby gem but don't know where to start code along with me on the end-to-end -end journey of the nerd dice project we'll configure and publish the gem use github actions to trigger builds and tests and create magic methods with Ruby metaprogramming that can roll any number of dice, all while using a test-driven approach. Go to statelesscode.com slash nerddicegem to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code, and taxation is theft.